Okay guys, this is the improvised striker for flint and steel. What we have here is an 8 inch or 6 inch mill file that I normally use to sharpen my hatchet. But what I've done is to grind this edge smooth, ground the ridges off of it. Still works fine for sharpening the hatchet, but this is my improvised flint striker. And once again, the object of the game is to put the sparks on the star cloth. Sometimes that works better than others, so let's give it a try and see what we got. Okay, right there we see two of them. And so notice that that's spreading out in there. So let's go ahead and get that going. And get the rest of our fire materials ready to go over here. Pencil leads are the matchstick size. A few of the pencil size. To get plenty of air. some of our thumb size fuel. Going for the knee high wings. say we have it. Now, in this char cloth container here, what I've done is more pieces of the white uh, duck canvas and uh, good postage size pieces. This time I've got a hole in the side of the can. So I should punch it in there, but you can see that little hole. And it works the same way. That's that gas out. So. Let's go ahead and put that in the fire and make another batch of char cloth. Hole out this way. You can see that smoke come out. smoke coming out of there.
Okay, looks like our smoke is tapering off. Toast that side just a little bit. Okay guys, let's go with, take a look here inside the char can and just see what we got. You can see here that our char cloth is black, as it can be, so it's real fragile. And so it is done and ready for a test. Let's get a test a piece here with our improvised file striker. Let's see what we got. Once again, the object of the game here is to make the sparks land on the char cloth and there we have one you can see that it's glowing nicely and so let's make that into a fire jute twine wrapped around there okay and here we go We go. More fire! That's the improvised flint striker and char cloth, and this is the professor. I'll see you soon!